Are you planning to see Suicide Squad but have no idea who they are or what they are? And this feels just for you. I'll be giving you all the information you need before seeing the movie. Let's start with what they are. Joe Group of bad guys tasked with doing dangerous and most of the times illegal missions for the government. You might be asking, why not just, I don't know, run away? Well, most people who don't know Suicide Squad ask the same question, but it's one thing that's stopping them from doing that. The kindness. Oh no, I'm just kidding. They have bombs in their heads, and if they do anything wrong, well, the anything the government considers wrong, they die. Ah, yep, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Now, who they are. First off, let's talk about who made this crazy team. Her name is Amanda Waller, head of Advanced Research Group United Support, better known as Argus. She basically wanted to do a bunch of bad stuff without having to get sued, because the entire team is bad guys, and they were just, you know, get, get the blame. I mean, that's kind of messed up, in my opinion. Make the bad guys do bad things for you. Yeah. And she gave Rick Flag permission of a team. Also, a little side note, that team's actually called Task Force X. Is just so you know. Like, hi hey guys, wanna go see Task Force X? But let's get to Rick Flag. Now, Rick Flag in comic books was a World War II vet, but with the current era this movie takes place, we can just assume he is a general, the top tier of guards, where the team were held in while we're on the top of non official suits as well. Remember, Joker. Yes, I know, what a shocker. Joker actually isn't in the squad, but seems to play a vital role in the movie, probably as a villain to villains. Anyways, this little to no backstory. On a Joker, but in the film and every comic book, he seems to turn Harley Quinzel into a villain, no, into Harley Quinn. Before she was Harley Quinn, she was a doctor at Arkham Asylum, better known as Harley Quinzel, and then she got Lemur Syndrome, so she fell for the Joker. This is a note, Lemur Syndrome is opposite Stockholm Syndrome, so the holder gets feelings for the prisoner, the prisony gets pris prisoner feelings type thing. Anyways, uh, let's move on to Killer Croc. Basically, he had skin condition to make it a skin more crocodile like, and he got more than human strength, but not superhuman strength. He also has razor sharp claws and can be underwater longer than most humans. And his real name is Wallen James. Now let's move on to Japan with Katana. She's a traditional Japanese woman and trains martial arts. She even has had training by Batman, his sword she normally uses called Soul Taker, and yes, it does what it sounds. It takes souls from people she kills. I wonder what it feels like in a sword, just saying. But I mean, other than being a badass, she has no powers. Now let's move to Mexico with El Diablo. A nice gentleman human being who just happens to be a gang member just because, you know. Uh, but he's also hunted by a rubber gang that he sent to the hospital, and then he gets his powers by coming in contact with the first El Diablo, which I find funny because the first El Diablo was actually given his powers after being revived from the dead, and yeah, by a shaman. Yeah, his powers include controlling fire and shooting fire from his palms. And he can make massive fire too. Now we're just moving to my personal favorite in the squad, Captain Boomerang, because he's a Flash villain. And I like Flash villains. I like speedster ones the most though. Anyway, George Harkness has no powers other than being really good at throwing boomerangs and being insane. And a history of petty and huge crimes. And he also has custom boomerangs for specific scenarios. He's also hated by most of the squad because of his unpredictableness and most people just don't think him trustworthy. Anyway, let's talk about Slipknot, a guy who made a rope that can't be broken out of all the things he made on break a rope, I mean, okay. And he also is a trained assassin. He is not in the he's not from the prison the rest of the squad is from, but he just wants to help out. But don't get me wrong, he's still a bad guy. He goes by the name Christopher Weeze when he's not killing people for the government. Now for the witch. Enchantress is a witch Witch that possessed the body and, sh and her powers is that she can control magic fields and she can produce magic. Her real name is Chantress, but the body she is with is called Jane Moon. Now let's talk about Deadshot. One of the most badass characters in DC, Common Marksman is underestimating him. Is it? He is if you took 10 marksmen, put them in one person, then gave him a gun. He has no powers other than the fact that he can kill any target you give him, and he's loyal. And also his real name is Floyd Lawton. That's all you need to know before going into the Suicide Squad film. And let me guys know if you guys want more videos like this where I give you guys rundowns of movies, films, or even comic book before it releases, and like, my thoughts in this week's comic books. Leave it on the comic section below. It's Infinite Nerd, signing out.